Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through exhaustive search, guys. So exhaustive search techniques are nothing but we popularly call them as uniform or blind search, guys. So the reason why these search techniques will be used really rarely is that these are not so efficient when compared with the other search techniques, guys. Like we are having heuristic search techniques, which we will be discussing in our further lectures. When compared to those things, these are not so efficient. So the main disadvantage in this is nothing but we call it as blind search because there is no information about the goal node or where it is located or closeliness guys. So if your goal node is here and you are here, there is no idea that the goal node is here. So if the possibility is going, you need to go to the another tree, you will be going to the another sub tree or somewhere else, you will not come here. So in this way, even it is closer, you cannot identify it. So that will be an issue. So that is the reason why these are called as exhaustive or, exhaustive or blind search. So the uniform searching does not contain any domain knowledge so this will be uniform guys like if it is a pattern in this way or if it is going to depth and it will come back so in that way it will be working fine okay so the uniform searching techniques does not contain any domain knowledge such as closeliness the location of the goal so goal node so those two are the things that this blind search is missing so it operates in a brute force way so brute force way is nothing but we are not going to have any information. It's going in a blind way, whatever it thinks. Shall I go right? Yes, right. Go, 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 go. Like that only. It's going to go in its direction. That's it. So it includes the information about how to traverse the tree. That's it. No additional information. So it knows where to go and how to go. That's it. But it will not go to in the appropriate way. So it examines each and every node until it reaches the goal node. So whatever comes in the path, it's going to analyze them. And it will be of waste of time and everything else. Fine. It's not going to go in the best path to be clear. Okay. So now let us go through one of the most first initial technique of this exhaustive search guys. Fine. So the first technique is a breadth first search. So it is popularly called as a BFS. Please note that we are also having BFS that is nothing but best first search. So this is a breadth first search. So please notice the name carefully guys. So this is breadth first search BFS. So from the name itself, we can say it is going to go in terms of a breadth. So we'll be saying this as breadth, right? So breadth of a box or pen. So like that we'll be saying, right? So breadth. So this is nothing but we can call it as level, right? So you can conclude that the breadth of a search will be doing level by level analysis, guys. So it is the most common searching strategy for traversing in a tree. The algorithm search breadth wise. Yeah, that's what I just told you in the tree or graph. So it is called as breadth first search. So that's the reason why it is called as breadth first search. So breadth first search starts searching from the root node. Okay. Of the tree and expands the successive nodes at the current level before moving to the next level. So let us assume this is your tree. Okay. So you, this is your goal node. So initially you will be analyzing the first level that is nothing but your start and after that you will be coming down and you will be analyzing the complete level guys. You will not go directly here to here or here to here or here to here or here to here. You will be just analyzing the whole level. After that you will be coming here, you will be analyzing it, you found your goal node, you will be stopping it here. So these nodes will not be scanned or anything like that. Fine. Okay. So it is done in the current level before going to the next level. Fine. Okay. So BFS is an example of general graph searching algorithm. So this is mostly used. And here we use the concept of FIFO guys, please remember. Okay. So what are the advantages guys? BFS will provide you a solution if any exist. So we can give a guaranteed solution, guaranteed thing that it will give solution guys, but it may take more time, but it's going to give the solution if it exists. Okay. So if there are more than one solutions for a given problem, the BFS will provide a minimal solution, which requires less number of steps. So let us assume in this example only we are having again here also we are having goal node. So once it scans here it stops scanning. So this will be your goal node that this with less steps right. So if here means it will be greater than two steps right. So one two two steps more. So that's the reason why here only it stops. So it's going to give you a bit better when compared with other. Again we are having few disadvantages. So it requires a lots of memory since each level of the tree must be saved into the memory. So here we are using FIFO right. So we are storing each and every level one after the other. So that will be waste of space. So that's the disadvantage and BFS needs a lots of time to solve any kind of problem. Okay. So now let us go through the approach, how it is going. So initially, if this is your graph and F is your goal node, level zero, level one, level two, level three. So initially level one will be scanned and it goes to level two again for level three and level four, you'll be reaching. So in this way, A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to F. So in this way, the order. Okay. So now 
let us take a small pro problem guys so here they didn't give you a graph guys okay so they didn't give you a normal tree or directly so we need to convert this into your tree or graph so the thing is that you will be just using a small trick guys so you start from s from s we are okay let shall we do it shall i do it guys okay just give me a second i'll take a piece of paper so these problems are really easy guys there is nothing to do so okay it's better to do for you okay so from the question if you observe it's clear right okay so initially we are having s so write s so from s we are having three possibilities those are nothing but a b and c so 2 5 i think this is 1 it seems maybe so from a you are going to d okay from b you are going to d and also to g okay from here you are going to g okay so basically remember that in graphs or trees you need you sorry in trees you should not have any kind of loops guys so that's the reason why i'm trying to remove the loops so here we are having three here it's again a two here it is four and here it is three so again from this d you can go to g and from this d also you can go to g and from this g you can go to d and from this d you can go to g so all these numbers are three or even you can stop it here also guys just remove this and you can stop it here also because our goal node is g so we already reached g so you can close it or if your goal node is d you need to continue till here fine okay so in this way we have converted it guys so that's what i just written it here so uh, once it is done so you will be assigning your level numbers level 0 level 1 level 2 level 3 so our goal node is g right so what are the possibilities guys here we are having 2 plus 3 plus 3 6 7 8 so the cost is 8 1 2 3 it's 6 so this is a 5 and this is 8 so which is the best guys the third one so 1 and 4 will be the best so a to b b to g so this will be the best or we are having these two also possibilities but this will be the best guys so i hope everyone got a small idea on this okay so even you can say in this way also sorry for that guys it's not going to sorry for that so it's not going to check the cost right so this is not a uniform cost or anything sorry for that i just confused so it checks by level by level right so in the first level are there any g's no so it scans us and it waits so from S after that the next level A B C S A B C here also we are not having any G's it's fine so third level D D G G so it scans this level it comes till here so it scans this and it stops there so if it continues it's going to get the next result also so I hope everyone got a small idea sorry for the confusion guys so in the next lecture we'll be going through the depth of first search guys thank you thanks for watching.